episode of all hell unicron this is going to be episode 23 uh, fortunately oscar is not here so i don't have any story to spill out so sorry but uh you know we've been here for 23 years so yay you know pretty cool or 23 weeks whatever um but today we only have two people with us uh this one's you know gonna be a quick one uh giggity uh we only have me and we got a uh, t2rx6 how are you doing, fella? I am doing well. I think we should just call this about 30 minutes with Detour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what we're getting Maybe, I was going to call it Abandoned Ship, but I think we're going to call it about 30 minutes. Oh, we should. Because, uh, you know, well, we did get abandoned. Ducks. You know, Oscar yeah. is, you know, didn't have a good day. We understand that. We hope he gets, you know, feeling better. Or, you know, we'll have to hope everything's better with him. And Robert is packing to go out of uh, the country. Uh-huh. So, yeah, must be nice to be rich. Golly. Yeah. Um exactly. Yeah, but we'll miss them. We'll see them next time. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, you get anything this week I or did. last week or something? I did. Uh, Oscar sent me. I guess he he pulled a uh, Robert D and he picked up two copies of the Diaclone. Oh, Twin Twist. Twin Twist is the drill. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Um, is it tip Twin Twist or Top Spin? Twin Twist, right? Top Spin. Top, top Spin. spin. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. Twin see, Twist. I'm sorry. See, like I'm like they I'm haven't like, done Twin Twist because the, it, the twist of the drill. I'm like. But spin the yeah. drill too. I'm like, oh shit, which one is it? So, you know, whichever no, one tw- it is. <laughs> that's Twin Twist, yeah. yeah. They yeah. haven't done, um, I think tw- uh, Topspin will be in the next wave if they do another wave of records, which I think they will. They showed Whirl on his box. Actually, Twin Twist has Whirl on there. Oh, interesting. And uh, I, I think, it. yeah, I think he'll be uh, in the next wave of records. Uh, I think they're doing another wave, I think. Well, nice. Yeah, he's a cool figure. I, I really, you know, I enjoyed him a lot more than I thought so. I was going to. Uh, you know, Oscar is nice enough to send them to me just for the hell of it. And I, I opened up and I'm like, wow, this is pretty fun. And it just reminds me that like a lot of like mainline Transformers right now, they're pretty fun. Like they're fun to flip back and forth. You don't feel stressed oh, yeah. out that you're going to break anything in like both modes are mostly. Exactly. You know, so exactly. Um, it's like yeah. one of the reasons that like that Devastator or uh, Menasaur, I'm looking forward to it because like. Here's a Menasaur that I don't need to devote my day to transforming back and forth <laughs> that's, to see it. That's you know? so true, man. Those train bots from uh, Moon Studios, they're beautiful pieces, but my God, not fun at all. No. Not fun at all. Yeah. But that's all I got. What'd you get, Matt? All right. Let's get it ready. All right. Um, let's hey, see. What did I get? If, I, if we say that and you're like, nothing, I'll be like, <laughs> and I think I'll have a heart attack and that's the end of that. Let's see how far to go back. Let's see. Let's see. Well, did I got. Um, I don't know if I said last time. I got to look at the King Toys, uh, uh, the uh, Razor Claw, and the little Desirius, uh, the little Wolf guy, the foot. Um, Chosen Prime was uh, nice enough to send me an early copy they got, and I got to review that. Um, but I will be definitely be getting it because I have the other ones. You know, I have to. Um, Fans Toys. I got uh, Galvatron, the toy version. Uh huh um love it it's you know it's not a fun transformation once again we were just you're just talking about you know masterpiece you know fans toys the older stuff is some of their stuff is not really a fun uh you know you know transformation and uh he he's not one of them so but he looks good i mean got you know once again they they knock out the, the paint and sculpt work you know so it's a really nice uh, piece i like the toy version too yeah um golly what else i got i got uh dr Wu bumblebee he's a little train I got okay. one of those. Um, I didn't. I didn't know that the Hot Soldiers did those before. So I guess this might be a knockoff. I don't know for sure. Yeah, I but, think um, someone said that. I was surprised about that too. Yeah, I totally forgot. I said, "Yeah, okay, now I remember." So, but they have a Thomas the Train one, and I may get him too, uh, <laughs> just to have a Thomas the Train, just to be pretty cool. Um, I got the Legacy uh, Voyager class Cyclonus, the uh, toy version. I got that one. Um, I got Studio Series. I got a bunch. I got RC from the Bumblebee movie. I got RC from the uh, 86 movie. Um, and I also got Ironhide from the uh, Bumblebee movie. And I don't know if I said I got the New Age uh, Lucky Draw Ultra Magnus, the uh, Hate Plague one, the red one. 
the clear I one? I can't remember, but regardless, you deserve to say that twice. So. <laughs> I love it. It is beautiful. I'm glad I got a chance to get that one. I didn't. I got a. I got a little hookup from on eBay, so I'm excited for that. Yeah. Um, Legacy. I got Legacy Commander Class Motor Master. Once again, we were talking about earlier. I love it. It's you know not the prettiest thing in, in the uh, alt mode, but the bot mode looks good. It's fun, you know, and it's it the uh, combined mode is ten times better than what uh, the. Uh, Combiner Wars did because that was just terrible. Can we go back to the uh, the New Age Ultra Magnus real quick? Yeah. How scared are you? Like, <laughs> like do you transform them once for the sake of your video and never again? Like you just leave them one way or the other? I I have him. Let me see. Where did I have it? Okay. So yeah, I transformed him one time for the uh, for the uh, to uh, do the review. Um, and I didn't do it on camera. Uh, well, I, I took would my never. Time. I would never. Yeah. Because, because you cannot transform anything on camera. Oh, with no. any, like with any gracefulness, you know, like anybody who watches the videos and they're like, oh, you're like you're so heavy handed at Transformers. Like you like, motherfucker, you try to do it yeah. with your hands held straight out in front of you as far as you could reach. Dude, it's, it's two times hard. You're yeah, you're putting you're putting two times of, you know, of, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, especially with Legends, I mean, sometimes you could do, you know, sometimes it's easy, you know, and everything. Now, like I said, with this one, no, I meant. Yeah, not with clear. There ain't no way. No way. No, no, no clear transform, no. So um, I transformed him. I transformed him back because uh, I'm, you know, I'm moving. I know I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to move. I was supposed to move this uh, month, actually, but uh, we had to uh, push it uh, forward or push it uh, to the next year. So I transformed it back. And uh, once I get, you know, settled down to my new house, I'll transform one more time, and that will be it. That'll be where he stays. But it wasn't bad. I'm in robot mode. Is that your plan? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. He okay. came in bot mode or uh, alt mode. Okay. But um, you know, and, and actually, I, you know, I wasn't that scared. I mean, the plastic was not that bad. I mean, I didn't feel like I was gonna break anything. Yeah. Um. So you know, the plastic was pretty good. Exactly. You know, I've been. So, um, with you know, and then Commander Class Motorcraft Motor Master, like I said, um, I got two Action Force guys. I got the Steel Brigade, um, and I got the Swarm Trooper. Uh, BBTS finally got their stuff from the uh, from their boats off you know off the shore. Nice. Uh, I've been waiting for them for like I don't know half a year, almost a year now. I I, um, I always see the Steel Brigade, and like I'm just so interested in getting the Steel Brigade. I I constantly think about, it, but I like don't collect anything in that line. So it's like. I feel yeah. like I'd get it and it would just sit in the closet. Like, cause I've got very <laughs> few Joes, you know. But like, yeah. I love the Steel Brigade, right? So, it's good. It's a good figure. Then I love the Swarm Trooper. Uh, it looks like a, a wasp or whatever kind of thing going on. They're really fun. I mean, the, you know, I like the you know the classified stuff and everything. Isn't there? Um, there's two types of Steel Brigades too, right? Yeah, there's the, the one I got was the BBTS exclusive. Uh, but there is another Steel Brigade, just a uh, regular version, yeah. kind of. So I don't I don't know what the difference is. So to be honest, I I haven't looked at the original one, but I got the exclusive they had, I guess. Yeah. Um, and let's see, I've got a bunch of Amazon stuff or a bunch of uh, the wreckers. I got the uh, uh, Spindor and Pactor. I got um, uh, let's see, well, so I got the Buzzworthy four pack with uh, um, Goldbug and Ransack, which I really wanted Ransack. I'm really excited to hopefully we'll get the rest of the deluxe of Secticons. Um, so sorely like underrepresented everywhere. Like I'm surprised yeah. there haven't even been third party offerings of those yet. Like Well there was there, there was yeah, ones the fan, from the fans fans project fans projects, ones. yeah. They were the they didn't re... do all four of them. They did three of them. No, yeah, just three of them. They and but they were I mean <sighs> I mean, you know, they were just, you know, basically recolors of the Insecticons. I yeah, mean, there I wasn't really like, much retooling. I don't remember if I sold them or if I still have them simply because they're the only... I sold mine. I can't believe it. I forgot I sold mine. But uh, that's the only, yeah, that's the only representation other than G1 of... Uh, I, I was hoping somebody MP would make them or something it's like so that. It's so weird because, like, fans' toys, for the most part, like, people thought that they, like, crushed their Insecticons. Like, they, like, knocked it yeah. in the park with them. And it's like... Wouldn't it be obvious to do four more? You know, like uh, uh, yeah. a couple of them are kind of like you could probably make happen with your existing molds. Like I don't know. Oh, that would have been awesome, dude. I would definitely, oh, I would have bought those especially. Yeah, man. Oh well, missed opportunity. Come on. Yeah. Like, that's like one one section of G one. Like everyone. That's like, easy. Do that's G1 easy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of an easy, like a little retooling, and then a, definitely a repaint. But that's an easy, uh, 
you know, four new bots and everything. So. And we all no. talk about how like MP is like finished with with G one, but like there is opportunities like that that still exist. Like get oh out. yeah, there's yeah there's some there's some holes that need to be filled. Oh yeah. definitely. Hopefully extra Xbox will do them or something maybe. Um, uh, a couple more things. I got uh, the target exclusive Red Cog. Um, I got the uh, with the weapon pack. Um, and I just did, I picked up the MMC, uh, creation, or, uh, uh, golly, Mastermind Creations, uh, the TFCon 2022 exclusive, uh, the, uh, Shattered Glass for Ryan Pax, uh, just did a review for him, just picked him up today, and that is it. Yeah, I don't know, that's a lot, golly. That was pretty good. Yeah, golly. All right, let's move on to the news. Uh, it's going to be a little short stuff, but we got, uh, third-party news. Shockwave Labs trailer. Okay. So this is for the core class Optimus Prime, uh-huh. and it comes with a little light up feature, which looks pretty cool. I like it's, that. It's interesting, but like, there's a couple things in here that I don't I don't understand. Like, so this Optimus Prime has wheels. At first, I saw the trailer. I'm like, oh, this is this is that that Optimus Prime that came out that is like the Cybertronian truck, and I'm like, no. That's why I asked you, I'm like, what Optimus is this? And then you mentioned it's a Legends Prime. I'm like, oh, so why does he have yeah, they're core class. treads yeah. for the trailer? Like, the treads don't make any sense given the Earth mode. Like, there's no... I don't know. Well, the, the trailers with this, that's new, too. He didn't come with the trailer with the core class. Right, right. But so but so you've got an Earth mode Optimus Prime, though, with a, a treaded trailer. You know, like, that's the weird thing. Yeah. Really. It's like, why? Who made that I don't decision? Know. That's Shockwave's lab right there. I don't, you know, I, I don't understand that. Yeah. It doesn't have, yeah, it doesn't have wheels. So, do, well, the treads don't move either. So, is it just dragging it, or does it got I wheels so, underneath? Unless it's the, got those little, it's like so hard to see on the on the image here. He might have like I can't either. Tiny yeah, wheels that kind of are wheels. underneath. But like, what's the point of the treads? Like, why not just give them truck wheels? I have no idea. So, I, I don't. I mean, I get the. I, I mean, the live feature is pretty cool, but. Yeah, you know, do you really need it? I mean, well, I, I mean, that's a, that's the problem with like, you know, when you look at the 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 trailers in the first place for Prime. Like, how many times? Like, I've bought like the fans fans project same second time today. Where yeah, the I did project, too. But, like that trailer. I did too. He won, yep. and it's like so often it just sat in the gra- or the uh, the closet, right? Like you didn't use oh, it. Oh yeah, anything. definitely. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like so, like kind of what what was the point of buying it? It's like you're gonna get this. It's like, I mean, I guess Legends you may be more likely to to um, transform back and forth and display, but like I think largely it's just gonna sit in the closet. Like, <laughs> I don't know. yeah, but I don't even I don't even like the truck mode on this one because it's too tall and too skinny. I mean, for yeah. the core class, um, that's not it's not really that great of a prom, but. I mean, it's got a little weapon storage thing. That's pretty cool. I mean, I guess if you, now if you want to display it like you know on the bottom, like you know with them, you know like the med bay thing, that would be pretty cool. I mean, that I, I would do that. That would that would be something cool. Yeah. Um, but as far as trailer, you know, leaving it as a trailer and yeah, you know, I just it would take up too much room and I just wouldn't need it. Yeah, exactly. I feel I feel the same way for the most part here. So. Uh, I, and, I mean, it I looks all right. It looks pretty cool. I like the little weapon storage thing for the other weapons from Core Class, and yeah. that looks like a. Um, that is a uh, oh, that's barricade or one of the um, like, oh, what are those things called? Freak the MicroMasters yeah. things, whatever. That's what they're called. So yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I guess it's cool to have, but yeah. yeah. Let's see, so it does have uh, is molded treads with inner wheels inst- instead of visible wheels. Okay. Yeah, now why not just do the real wheels? I don't go know for it. Whatever, whatever you want to do. There we go. All right, moving on to this is a new company, Wonderful, Wonderful Trans Ronin. Um, they are making an IDW, IDW, golly, IDW drift color prototype, and this one has, you know, looks really like the Flames toys, uh, the ones I, I have this drift and everything. But he also transforms. Um, he is, I, you know, IDW inspired. He is standing at twenty one centimeter inch tall, so I'm guessing that's Eight inches, nine inches. inches. Changes. That is about eight inches. Yeah, eight, eight inches. inches. So, oh, is that chug scale? Um, no, because Optimus MP10 is ten inches. Okay, okay, all right then, cool. So yeah, this is a uh, yeah twenty-one inches. So about uh, it comes with three swords, and it can transform into a 
anime style futuristic car, which I really dig, man. This looks good. Yeah, this. I don't know really who this awesome. company is, but if, if it I looks... was in the IDW stuff, you know, if I had gotten yeah. like, the Rodimus and stuff, like this is a no brainer. Like this looks just as good as the Flames toys to me. Like it doesn't yeah. have the light up stuff as far as I can tell, but like that's okay. Yeah, right? don't like, need that. Don't need yeah. it. Like I mean, it's to be painted honest. to the nines. It's got. Oh yeah, the I paint hope looks the actual so thing good. looks like this when it comes out. You know. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of features, you know, they're pretty good, you know, pretty cool for pictures, but they're not really don't need them. The head sculpt looks good. It's painted. Yeah, this is painted really well. All the blue and the yellow or gold, I guess, and the red. You got the nice swords. Yeah, this thing looks exactly like Flames Toys. And I love the alt mode, man. It looks, eh, I meant the, the, the wings on the back kind of, uh, yeah. yeah. It kind of looks like, um, Oh, Galvatron from uh, Cybertron a little bit. I can see that because he had those big ridiculous wigs and stuff. I could definitely see yeah. that. And the front, too, a little bit. But yeah. I like it. I mean, I think it's cool. I don't, like I said, I don't like the little uh, wings sitting on the, you know, out there. Maybe you can move those, I hope. It might be on ball picks or something. Yeah. But um, it That's looks, the car mode looks freaking awesome. Yeah. It really does. It's It's pretty nice looking overall. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, did, I just wouldn't even think about it until I saw the little the wings there. And I was like, man, that kind of looks like a little bit. If you squint your eyes and, you know, tilt, tilt your head a little bit, it kind of looks like Galvatron. There was uh, this, uh, there's this machine robo toy that I got. Uh, police truck. I'm trying to think what it was. It's like this this base thing, and it turns into this, this truck. And it came with, like, a car, and it looks like this, too. But I can't okay. tell you what it is for the reference. Uh, I don't know either. Yeah, I don't know. I like the translucent yellow on there. This look, man. I'm I'm gonna get this. This looks pretty good. Uh, I think it's it's on pre-order right now. It shows the they, they don't have a price for it. It's just a, you can put a deposit of a dollar for it. Yeah. But I could probably see it at about about one thirty, probably maybe give or take one thirty, one fifty, maybe. Mm-hmm. It's good. But yeah. Uh, yeah, keep my eye on those. World Wonderful Trans. Okay. Yeah, new new company, but you know, more likely what we were talking about, it's it's probably a branch off it's, of somebody else. It's gotta else. be someone that we know already. And this is too good and too clean for it to be someone's oh, first yeah. outing. Like a first outing Definitely. is like almost a train wreck for a lot of companies, right? So Yeah, like um, this uh, thing, Omnigonics or Crapagonics. So, yeah, it huh. looks really good. Looks so good. Um, uh, let me see. The next we got... Uh, let me. I'm gonna put the uh, link in here. Hold on a second. Where is? There we go. So we got some new uh, new age Fembots. We got a bunch of them, actually. To be honest, uh, this is. Or I'm sorry. This is Doctor Wu. This ain't new age. I'm sorry. Uh, so Doctor Wu has a bunch of. Um, they got their Amy, which is RC, oh, and they I, have a bunch of. I messed this up. Yeah. So I did have the the new age version up. So let me. I guess I'll put that back. Let me see. Uh, well, we can talk about the Dr. Wu stuff, too, because yeah. I mean, they're new and everything. We'll talk about that real quick. Um, yeah, Dr. Wu has uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five recolors and actually some retooling on some of them. Uh, so we got the, uh, let's see, the Devil Amy, which is the Combiner Wars or the Combiner Hunter RC. Um, she's got a nice deco I like that. The Night Ninja, which is Nightbird. Looks pretty cool. We got Mirror Ninja, which this is a new one, I think. Uh, redeco of the Night Ninja in green and orange, uh, inspired by ID, IDW Torch Bears. I feel I've never like I've heard seen of that, that deco somewhere, and I just can't, I can't play. Wasn't it. that the Protoform, uh, the um, Protoform one from um, the Ronald McDonald one from uh, MMC? Yeah, they did it, it for uh, TFCon. Maybe. I think yeah. that's that colors. I think that's a. I've never heard of IDW Torch Bears though. I don't yeah. know what that is. Um, okay, now this is a new one, the Snow Ninja. This is a redeco. This is like a snow camo deco. Yeah, that looks really good. I like that. I like the the colors of it. Yeah, I do too. Um, the Nursery, which is uh, going to be the Paradon uh, Medic, mm-hmm. uh, which you know everybody you know, always get that. But I like all of these actually. I like the Combiner, the Combiner Wars one or Hunter. I like the uh, their weapon. You know that big old huge axe. Um, I, let, I definitely love the Night Ninja one. Definitely want to get that one. Um, I, feel, I feel like the Nightbird doesn't look that Nightbird to me. Like I don't think she looks bad per se, but I don't think it looks like Nightbird. Maybe it's just me. Is it the backpack? 
Um, I think it's the face, honestly. I think it's like the really? face in the head. Look, it looks like RC with a with like a bandit mask on. <laughs> with, the, with the COVID mask on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, like it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't scream Nightbird to me in the head. It's too close to RC. Gotcha. I feel like. Yeah, so. Okay. I can see that. I can see what you're talking about. Now the mirror ninja, like I said, I think that is the prototype. Well, that all the I guess there is no retooling. I guess it's all just recolors. Yeah. Do they all? Did anybody get a retooling? No, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, so they're all recolors. Uh, I said, like I said, the mirror ninja. I think that that deco is the Ronald McDonald or the prototype one they had. Uh, MMC did. Uh, I'll probably pass on that one. I'm not ready. But I do like the Snow Ninja, like you said. Yeah. I love the colors on that one. It looks pretty good. It's an interesting and, deco to, to give her that yeah. I think uh, you could get away with. It's it's kind of the opposite of the black repaint, right? Like, it's the, yeah. the like white Arctic type repaint. And, like, I don't know. More people should take advantage of it. I like that, yeah. And then, and then the nurse, you know, nursey, whatever, um, you know, paramedic. Uh, that's a. I think that's the same head sculpt as RC, yeah. So I guess that's none of them are retool. They're all re, they're all recolors. Okay. I'm waiting for my I'm waiting for Amy to come out. So I want to see how she is and everything. So yeah, we'll see. Um, I'll be okay. I'll be looking forward to your video. So yay. Okay. So did next you put week, in the? Uh... I did. I put it in. Okay. Next, cool. So all we right. can jump to that next because I thought when I scrolled through, I was like, oh. Yeah, you did all the fembots here. And then the, the, you said Doctor <laughs> yeah, Who. There's like, oh. too many. There's so many fembots. Okay, now so New Age now, moving on. What they're doing also, uh, which I love the name Ninja Dicky. Yeah, um, this I have no idea either, but it's a retool and redeco of the uh, G1 Nightbird. Includes a sword and all their stuff. I think this looks. I mean, it's New Age, man. New Age is one of my. It's probably one of my favorite, or is one of my favorite uh, companies mm-hmm. um, around. And they're also giving us a medic too as well. Um, and I think RC is coming out. I think RC is actually hit overseas, so RC yeah, should be coming out soon. Yeah, are you are you picking up RC? Yeah, I definitely am. So nice. New Age nice. is something I pick up like all their characters. Like I don't know if I pick up like uh, as my daughter as my daughter calls her Pocus Honest. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll be picking up Poke Pocus Honest. Is but, honest. But uh, Ninja Dicky, which I don't understand the reference. Like I'll probably pick her up just because. And, like, if you look at the picture, uh, like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, her head is totally different. Like, she's not wearing the same helmet, you know? Like, that's right. what it yeah, is. Yeah, I get makes you. I get it now. Not, yeah, like, look, I can Wu. see the difference. Like, yeah, even the face the is different on, on New Age, but, like, it looks like Nightbird. It doesn't look like RC wearing a COVID mask, like you put it. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, I'm I'm definitely putting her in the pose where she's, um, yeah, she's bent over and so I'm going to take a picture like that. So <laughs> I don't know why they did that. But uh only comes with one side, though. That's weird. Yeah, but, that's you know, weird. You think you would give her, like, like two of one them. sword, two sides. Like, even two swords, yeah. honestly. Give yeah. me a whole bunch of ninja weapons for her. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Now, uh, I did, you know, poke on us. I don't remember that there was an episode. I guess she was uh, feeding uh, Cycl- or, uh, yeah, Cyclonus something or something. I don't know what. I don't know what that episode's from. But Yeah, I don't know. I know she's got a cup a or something, I don't know, a <laughs> pot or something. I don't know. She looks good too. I love the colors on her. So the I'll, colors I'll look pick, nice for sure. I will pick her up too. So I got to pick up Always New Age. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're getting a bunch of fembots coming out. So that's cool. I like that. Um, so moving on to uh, something new, another new company, uh, I guess. It's a SND Optimus Prime or SND. What are they called? SND uh, the One. Or wait, which what's the name of the company? S N D O eight. Um. No, the third. Oh, it's S N D is the name of the company. SND okay, the company. Yeah. So is this zero eight? Have they put out? I've not seen anything before. So this is zero eight. Have they put out seven things before this? Let me see. <clears throat> I've never, I've never heard of them. So they're they're putting out a uh, generation scale Optimus Prime, which is Chug scale. Okay. Um. S N D has a bunch of kits whether they've come out or not i don't know but there's an x mortis upgrade kit for battle core optimus prime and it looks like it's been out but like i've never never heard oh, okay it. so they have add-on kits okay okay yeah, that's I'm gonna, fun. I'm gonna put it out here or in our chat real quick so you can see that's but pretty cool according to uh according to the chosen prime i guess it's out because it's joined the waiting list right so 
Yeah. Uh, I don't recall that. They have Primo, Perfectus, an upgrade kit for Combiner Wars, Battle Core, Optimus Prime, and one for Ultra Magnus that... They've been around for a while, then. More if they just... Ultra magnus I don't know. This one says... This also says put me on the waiting list, so I don't know if this came out either, but I'm going to post that, too, in our thing. So this one might look like it's the first actual figure Action figure, they're releasing. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, so it's inspired, you know, IDW, definitely. Man, they're putting a lot of IDW stuff. Um, this is 18 centimeters tall. Uh, about 14 centimeters long. Uh, fits the generation scale or chug scale. Um, it's yeah, a you nice see the looking it. truck. It looks really nice. I, I think the I think the see. only thing that I really don't the bot mode just bothers me is the the split between the uh, chest. Yes, I tend to agree, but I feel like that's like like it looks like Transformers primey to me. You know, like yeah, I see. That, I, I understand that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but it's, I just, I don't know. That just but other, I, everything I else. I like to see it with the cleaner chest too. I agree. Yeah, but everything else looks fine. You get two, uh, two of his uh, swords, his battle axe or battle swords. You get a looks like a gun. You get se- now, nah, nice. I wish, I oh, wish Hasbro would do this. Give you some separate hands. That would be pretty cool. So you get, you know, a couple hands, and then you get some kind of adapter. I don't know what that adapter is for, but it might be a could be a hitch. They might be uh, making a trailer laid on for him. But um, maybe, maybe I wonder if it like if the hitch. Uh... Like would actually connect to an existing Prime trailer or something. It could, but yeah, like you said, I like the I like the truck mode, um, and I like the bot mode. I'm definitely getting this. It looks, it looks pretty good. And fun. Oh yeah, yeah definitely well articulated. Uh, 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 Optimus Prime nine, then ten. Yeah, it looks like he can do some really good poses. This is awesome. Uh, you know, and he scaled like I said. You know, next to uh, that's Earthrise uh, Ironhide. So looks pretty good. I don't know the. Oh, hopefully the head sculpt kind of looks just bland, a little. I don't know. It does, it does definitely. It's so. I don't know. Like, Maybe it's not it, It's not the the strongest looking Optimus Prime head. Um, I yeah. don't know if they are using light piping. It kind of looks like it's light pipe. The way the eyes don't have any real definition. Yeah, they're kind of dead. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, it's the type of thing that you could get a little paint to, and you could probably make it look even better. Yeah. Um, okay, now, if you look at uh, 16, his eyes are lit up. It looks like they're painted there. 16. He's next to uh, uh, Earthrise Prime and yeah. um, Reverse. So you can see the paint. So Now his head looks squished in that one. Like, it definitely, I don't know. <laughs> it's, an, it's an interesting looking figure right i mean it, it is a prototype too so you know it, I, th- I don't think it's not it's not due till december i think so okay. there's still might be working on it i don't know i do think but that head sculpts are the things that like make or break a company a lot of times like there's a lot of really, really? dead head sculpts on transformer toys <laughs> well i can t- wait a minute. you can i mean i can tell this is you know a heavy you know a early prototype because you i mean in 15 the picture 15 yeah. i mean the paint doesn't look done and it looks kind of silly to be honest, yeah. but anyways, I, I, I'm probably in for it. You know, it looks really good, pretty cool. Who doesn't need another Optimus Prime? Exactly. Um, I'm just waiting for a Transformers animated to be cool again, and people start actually making third party things for that. Yeah, dude, we'll get um. Well, no, that's Prime. I was going to say you can do a uh, who's that company? AM uh, CMD or whatever they're doing. AM, I, I, think oh. I go back and check. Uh, Online, the the guy who made the armor for the uh, Optimus Prime, he apparently is making the STLs finally available. So, oh really? That. Cool. Yeah. I gotta oh, go, do, cool. go do that. Look into it. Okay. All right. Well, that's all we got for third party. We're third gonna move party. on to Hasbro official. Uh, oh, looks right. like we got um, we're getting a Studio Series A6 Voyager Ironhide, and we got alt modes, and they did show a teaser of the bot mode and they did show the bot mode as well um yeah you want i um, i could find the bot mode pictures like they were, yeah, and they were one curious. of the uh, and the you know infamous you know guy that you know gets to review or doesn't get to but you know reviews everything before anything is announced I actually reviewed it um i didn't watch it but um uh, the pictures look I, I like the we'll talk about the alt mode the alt mode looks it looks pretty good I don't like the the little on the side, the little um, 
what are those roller things, whatever? I, I know what they're for, you know, to flip out the, the panel, but I don't like that big canister sitting on the side of it. And also, there's a, it's up by the uh, windows, too, as well. Let's see. Where is it? Where the, uh... This is the alt mode. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that kind of stuff, like... like. It's an eyesore to me. It is. It is, because it takes the, like... It takes the clean line th that, like, a lot of Transformers have, and then it just kind of basically shoots that in the foot, right? Like, it's like we yeah. don't give a shit about disguising the fact that this thing transforms. Like, to me, the most interesting <laughs> Transformers don't look like a toy robot, you know, turned into something. Right. And this, like, with the all the hinges on the outside, like, if you want to put the hinge on the inside or something, like, fine. And, like, if you can't get away with not having a hinge, like, okay, fine, but, like, those are huge hinges on the side of yeah. things. Like, so much so that, like, I love this picture for where they're trying to show it, like, in Prime's trailer. And first off, that trailer is ridiculously <laughs> small anyway. But it's, like, yeah. even even if it had the, the height to clear it, like, there's no way those hinges are clearing this thing, you know? No. No. So. Uh, I think only Legends could fit. I think Core Collection fit that uh, little trailer. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think it looks good. I mean, at least they hid the feet. Uh, you know, from you know, like in Siege and Earthrise, you know, the feet were yeah. all hanging out. So at least they did that. Um, Do you know this is not a retool of those, right? Like this is different. No, this uh, this is I think it's a new mold. I think. Yeah, I don't know if I really care for the front end of the van. Like I, I see. I like that. I was gonna say I do. I, I think I, I like the front. I, end. I don't know. I think it's too silver, right? Like like. It's a lot of silver. Yeah. I think if you did the light silver and then like the graded part silver, and the bumper silver, but you did the. Uh, other piece red, I think it might look a lot better and more like Ironhide did in yeah. the TV show. So, did you get? Did you find the uh, bot mode? Yeah, I posted the second okay. link in there. So, All right. Um, okay, so I'm look at the bot mode. Now I like the bot mode. I think I it think looks the bot good. Mode looks sharp. Uh, it looks better yeah. than the other Ironhide, personally. Yeah, from uh, Earthrise. I mean, a lot. <laughs> that two pack, the Earthrise. Uh, who was he with? He was with Prowl, I think. Yeah. That two pack, uh, that two pack, uh, golly, the two pack dropped in price. That thing was going for a lot, uh -huh. and ever since this got announced, that one, the two pack went down in price. I think to no more retail. So yeah, hey, if you want to, you know, if you want to get that one, which is not, I, I like it. I think I like the Earth Rise. I like the Siege one. It's a good mold, I but I do like there's, this one. There's an image of him lying down shooting the gun, and then there's one more where you see his face close up, and I feel like the face looks a little bit kind of young looking for Ironhide in a way like he doesn't kind of look like yeah the they've been doing is, but well you know not new age did that too new yeah. age you know and what i did you know i got it in the magic square uh new uh Ironhide, and i had the new age and i did comparison and i totally forgot man that like in my review i said you know the magic square one looks like he's taking his kid to school that's how young it looks. <laughs> yeah. I mean because the magic square is you know it's Ironhide. i mean he's yeah. you know his face is you know he's you know, old and everything, but that new age one, man, it just was like, you know, I'm taking my little, you know, eight year old to school and everything. So I don't know. Sometimes they give Ironhide the, you know, the young face for some reason, but yeah, you know, I mean, that's it's, cool. It's they can lay down. I, I've seen way worse faces, right? Like, this, Oh yeah. Definitely. It's definitely worse than this. So I think it's cool. He can lay down though and actually look up and I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. most times you don't get that from Chug. Yeah. So I'm guessing he has a, uh, like a back crunch or an ab crunch, maybe? Now, my question is, on the back of the van, uh, why did they just choose not to put, like, any paint on there? Like, they painted... Or no, I guess it's clear plastic, and then on the back, it's just... Oh, it's all red. Yeah, I don't, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm, I'm hoping... 20, I'm hoping that's... I'm hoping that's just... I hope they fix that, maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's just a, such a just minor bit of paint to actually, like, make the van, like, really... Well, take that That's silver from the front. It. Take the silver from the front and put it in the back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. And you know, I'm looking at the picture 13 where you see him inside the trailer, and it's like those hinges really are an eyesore because, like, looking forward and like, boom, two hinges <laughs> sticking out like big, giant, yeah. stupid ears. Yeah. And I got 14 with scourge, so yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm definitely in for it. I like yeah. the the feet, um, got a nice weapon, so pretty cool. I like the head sculpt. That's good. Yeah, and of course you could probably ex expect Ratchet and all that stuff coming from this too. Oh, so. well, yeah, it does. had to be a Ratchet. Yeah, you know, actually, when I saw Ironhide, the first pictures of him, um, like the two like little tabs sticking up just kind of already look like little uh lights. 
Oh yeah. You know, but probably what'll yeah. more likely happen is you'll just like peg a little light bar on top or two halves of a light bar or something yeah. like that. But I'm sure they'll retool his head too and stuff and they'll give him some reach one maybe. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, let's go. I'm definitely yeah, in for good. it. I'll be I'll be let's... interested to see how it turns out. I might even pick it up. My my kid's been enjoying my uh, like legacy prime and stuff lately so oh that's cool that's yeah. awesome you know maybe give him an iron hide too to go with it so. yeah um optimus prime is a freaking camera hey, uh, yeah so a lot of people are throwing fits even when I, I do my news thing you know every week and i had people in my comments saying it should have been reflector and blah blah this i'm like it's it's a crossover you know yeah. first of all it's japan and prime sales yep um and you don't have to buy it that's that, that is the biggest thing is prime sales you know like well i think the biggest thing is you don't have to buy it yeah, i mean nobody's right. telling you you have to buy this i i'll guarantee you if nobody said anything about this nobody would care you know it you wouldn't it wouldn't you know can i tell you something else it's probably not even gonna be that good like it's just like the 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 history of these crossovers is that they're just never that good you know like there there's something like sacrifice to get that hyper realistic alt mode and you get a like really weird ugly prime you know like if they made this reflector yeah. then what you're gonna have one one uh one of the bots from from reflector and and uh you know you're gonna complain that you didn't get all three pieces of it like you know like <laughs> yeah something's gonna be wrong with no matter what they did so of course they're gonna I mean, it's that. It's not for me, but you know, if you know, if the price is right, you know, I may check it out. Who knows? Yeah. But you know, it's it's a big belly Optimus Prime. Like I said, it's Canon. It's supposed to be. Uh, you know, I thought it, at first, I thought it was a working camera. I was like, that's pretty cool if it works, <laughs> but it does not work, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I think there are pre-orders up for it, or I don't know. No, I'm sorry. This is take it with a grain of salt. This is this has not been officially released, actually, or confirmed. But I'm sure it's going to be, you know, since they got pictures for it. Yeah. Um, but it's a Canon EOS R5 camera with a little transformed Optimus Prime. It's like one um, of those quote unquote like designer toys, which is like we've made this yeah. crossover for the sake of crossing over and being interesting. Like, yeah, you like yeah. to not see it being I mean, Optimus is like absolutely silly. I mean, it's, you know, like I said, it's Japan. You know, I'm sure they like cameras and they like Optimus Prime. So why not? And it's just a way to uh, get Canon out there. So, but like I said, you don't have to buy it. That's that's would, the wonderful thing. I would like to go back to the past. Did anyone really complain when, uh, you know, when Optimus Pro or yeah, when Optimus was sneakers? Like, I don't remember a particular backlash for that. It probably existed, but uh, you know, ah, no, I sneakers did someone complain? Probably, right? I almost picked him up too at one of our BotCon or TFCon or something. But yeah, and yeah. I know he he let so uh, I think it was. Soundwave was the iPad. Oh yeah, the MP3 player. Oh yeah, he was an iPad too, yeah, but he was. I got the MP3 thing. It was player. like movie Soundwave, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't know. I did have the MP3 player though. Yeah, it actually that. played. You know, it played actually stuff. So yeah, but you had to put it in like some weird. I forget if it was the memory card was weird or if it was like an SD card. That was weird. But I don't. I didn't ever put anything in there. I yeah, thought it I mean, took an SD card or some shit, but I didn't even. Yeah, I just. I think the uh, was it Frenchy Rumble were the headphones, and then uh, let's see, Ravage. Right. They did a, a USB stick Ravage. Yep. Uh, a mouse of Trypticon. Uh, and Trypticon. Yeah. Um, I think they did a. Uh, what was the um, Tigertron? I think they oh, did a recolor. Wasn't there a Blaster Hub? Yeah, like USB yes, hubby, yes. But he was USB like a little hub. laptop thing. Yep, yep, that was Blaster. I still have that. Huh. Um, let's see, they did Tigertron was the another flash drive, I think. I think he was a retool or, a mate or something. I thought Tigertron was one of them. And I, th I think that was it. I think that's what they had. Yep. That was weird. I don't know. I don't know. Was that even, that wasn't official, was it? Um, I don't remember. To be honest with you. Wait, I think does that wave have a Decepticon symbol on his chest? I think he did. Oh wait, no, the device labels, yeah, they were they were yeah, the device they, labels, that's who it was. They okay. Were very much official, but they got knocked off to high heaven. Like there Oh, was, okay, there okay. Was all I had the device labels ones. The USBs and all that stuff. Um but yeah, the device label okay. was real. There was also a device label uh Optimus Prime and Ultra Magnus. Um 
I think they might have been the G1 toys, though, with a just like an MP3. Oh, with a speaker. Yeah, speakers. Speakers. Exactly. Yeah, the trailer was speakers. Yep, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> I didn't have only one I had was the I had the uh, uh, Soundwave. I uh-huh. wanted to get the Ravage. I wanted to you know be cool to have a little flash drive, but I never got it. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and try to get one of those. That'd be pretty cool. You probably do a little review now. Oh yeah, do okay. a little review on those. Um, all right, moving on to Core Class Wheelie. I like this. I know a lot of people are going to, you know, shit on uh, Wheelie, but I, this one definitely looks a lot better than the Titan Returns and definitely better than that shit thing we got with uh, Grimlock. Uh-huh. Well, that so, <laughs> thing that came with I Grimlock meant, just looks yeah, like I mean, it doesn't, any shit. Yeah, definitely. But, I mean, I, this does not look bad. I mean, I for a Wheelie, so, you know, it's, it, it may have some little, you know, some waffles, but that's, you know, that's whatever. I think the caramel looks cool. I like the little nod to the G1 where you lift up the little thing and see his head. That is awesome. The um, absolute only complaint I have about Wheelie here is that why on earth did you not make his hands fold away or something? Like the fact that they just stick out in alt mode, I'm like, ah, come on. <laughs> you know, well, like, no, it don't stick out. No, you can close that. Uh, what do you mean? Can you? Let me see. Yeah, check out picture three and then four. You can open it up and no, 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 see no, no. It. not not the head, the hands. Just stick it out. The oh, back. the hands. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, like okay, just yeah. like I'll see it now. like fold them down or to the side or like anything yeah. just to hide it away a little bit, just a little. Yeah, so. but you know what? Those hinges probably cost a lot of money, so okay. you know we don't yeah. we don't want to get the investors. You know, I didn't even notice the hands. Year. So. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even notice the hands until you just said it. I was like, oh god, yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Like that's the uh, only thing that ruins like what actually looks like an amazing little wheelie, you know? Yeah. I yeah. I wonder uh, those hands. Those uh, are they just attached? Or are they just like they don't move? Yeah, they don't move at all. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Like this is the type of thing that's a party upgrade kit that you're gonna be able to pop them off. They just fold yeah, I fix to say that. I fix to say somebody would make a third party, you know, feel like it was on ball pegs or something. You just pop those off and you can. You know. Exactly. But like, it's like not even a contest. Like the, the last picture they have with that other wheelie, like, like that wheelie. Oh yeah. Look like it's the same character. Not at all. I think yeah, that's it. You know, for a core class, 10, 12 bucks. I'm definitely going to pick this up. It's, yeah. This will be my wheelie so far. So yeah, it looks yeah, good. I think, I think it's, I think it looks real nice. Oh so. well, yeah, pretty cool. It's got a little, uh, his little uh, slingshot. That's pretty cool. Oh, very nice. All right, that is cool. So moving on to what do we got next? MP Trailbreaker. All right, are you going? I'm. I have two Trailbreakers already. I don't need another one. Yeah, to be honest. I'm kind of in the same in the same boat, right? Like, I have. Which one do you have? X Transbots. I've got the. Actually, I've still got MMCs for now. Oh, MMC. I, okay. Yeah. Um, I think I had X Transbots. Uh, I think I got one that was broken, and I just could never figure out a good way to actually repair him. And I was just like, eh, I threw him away at one point. <laughs> like, I got him yeah. from Dirt Keep uh, from Pinkerton, I believe. And, okay. uh, you know, ultimately, I just kind of I was like, yeah, we're good. I don't need this. And, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm definitely, I got the fans' toys one coming at yeah. some point. So that's definitely happening. That's uh, a good one, man. That's yeah, a good one. And it's like, that, like there's it. this one. I'm like, it doesn't look bad, but I just, I just don't know if I really need it. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's Trailbreaker. You yeah. know, it's like, uh, I mean, uh, do I need another one? But, you know, it is official, and I'll probably get it. But I have I have the X-Transbots one, and I do have the Fans Toys one. Yeah. I just I mean, that's don't. The, that's the biggest thing to me that's, that it's got going for it, right, is that, like, it's official. And, like, like, like I feel like I should be supporting it because, like, I want I, – I really liked official MP, but, like – I, I but don't I don't feel I mean, is it? I mean, now, okay, say five years ago, you know, I would be all in. You know, I would sell my other ones. I would definitely sell my X Transbots one. I'd be like, I'm getting official. You know, that, like with Megatron, you had all those other ones. You know, had X Transbots, you had all the other, you know, ones out there. I said, nope, I'm going to get the official. Yep, and that's what exactly, I stuck with. Exactly. But now, you're like, I mean, is the official, you know, is it, does it mean as much as it did? back in you know five years ago right and it's almost hard to say it does because like it's not that like i don't want to support transformers but you know like the official maker of transformers but it's like there's so many like shortcuts and stuff that are made in in instances like that's like 
like I'm shortchanging myself and not getting the best thing if I if I do get that. You know, like that's the hardest right. part I think is knowing that like you're getting a lesser a lesser figure as a result and like yeah i mean is this gonna have you know i don't know if this i don't see it having die cast i don't see you know the paint is gonna be as good as fans toys yeah um you know you get some accessories but like i said i'm I, like i said you, you know you'll put that in the, in the box i mean you know I'll, I'll take pictures with it and look cool but then it's gonna go right in the box yeah that's, and like i think like the uh the mp train bots are like the perfect example of why it's like like part of me doesn't care right like like uh uh you get these mp train bots the design like again these designer toys in a way and it's like but they're basically combiner wars characters you know like like yeah no well, love you they're actually scale, they're scaled right though i mean they're i mean they were actually scaled i'm i'm kind of torn man i love the train mode yeah the train mode is really yeah, the good train mode looks awesome that's clearly where all the focus went but do I want to pay that much for you know five more trains? And then what am I gonna do with them? Like I have the you know I have the uh, MP ones. It's like I don't really need these for trains to be honest because I don't have you know they're gonna take up too much space. Yeah. Where am I gonna put them? Yeah. So, no, I, I like, I, I'm inclined to agree with you on on that sentiment. Like that's kind of why why they don't do anything for me. I'm just like yeah. Like, yeah, I, got, I, I meant the it. bot modes. Oof. I mean they had. You know, miss. I mean, I did a review on it, and the back of the legs is just hollow. I mean, it's just like, this is MP. I was like, come on, really? This is not MP. This can't be MP. That's your masterpiece. You're supposed to be, you know, cream of the crop. You know, right. the exactly. Topic. Like I should like like that's what bothers me about it is like you know this is supposed to be the best Transformers has to offer, and it's like, but then like I I feel like with the train bots like. Yes, the train looks good, but like the robots really don't, you know. And it's like, yeah, you spent all the money in getting the license or something, and like I'm supposed to feel compelled. Like I don't know, that's what. Well, I, I mean, I know it's for, I know it's for, you know, mainly for overseas. It's for Japan because you know they like the train because, yeah, you know, nobody over here really cares about rating. To be honest, I'm mean, not a whole lot of people. I'm sure there is people, but I'm not speaking for everybody. But well, I as mean, a whole, he's a, he's a Japanese. A Japanese yeah. uh, exclusive TV show character. Yeah, really, you yeah. Know, nobody's like... ever heard of Raiden. I mean, nobody really. You know, we didn't see him in G One. We didn't see him in other car- You know, tran- You know, series yeah, where it's like common. Your common fan is not like, oh boy, Raiden. Like, who, who? <laughs> I mean, it's cool to have one. I'm glad I got oh, the, I, I uh, definitely the, the glad one. I got one. You know, but you know, that's all you need. You just need one. And you're good to go. You're like, eh, okay. Yeah. So I'm kind of torn about. I don't know. I'm. I may try to get the other one if if I. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, hey, well, talking about trains, you know, we're, we're moving on to the, we got MP. Uh, this is the uh, Gets, Getsui. Uh, this is the second one coming out. Blue train. Uh, blue train, yeah. This was um, on display at um, ACG uh, HK. This was over in Hong Kong. What does that stand for? I forgot what they did. They said that Animation Comic comic Game Hong Kong. I would love to go somewhere like, like that. Like a- like almost like a San Diego Comic Con type thing. Yeah, but, I thought it'd be uh, pretty cool to come. And once again, love the train mode. I love the oh, little the things on. Awesome. Yeah, like the, like it. The train mode is so much even better than the Zeta one. Like the Zeta train mode, like honestly, is kind of crappy, right? Like it's really, like kind this, of like a, a super deformed looking train. It's like this is a hundred percent. Like if you were like a train, a model train collector, like you almost could. Oh, they put their, they put the money in train. They put the money in the train. I like the little, the things to go, I guess that's that's for the electric, you know, the the electric wires, the little white piece. That's cool. That's a nice little nod. Um, The train. And I love the track. It comes with a track. You know, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, the train mode looks good. That's why I'm kind of torn. I'm like, I kind of want these. They look really good in train mode, but the bot mode, you know, to be honest, this one does not look as bad as the first one. It doesn't, no. I mean, you got some, you know, the side flaps, but that's, you know, that was on the MP1 too as well. Um, the legs clean up a little better. And I don't, I can't see the back. I don't know if it's as bad as what the first one was. Yeah. But, you know, looking straight on, this one is passable. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I it's not, it's not as bad as the first one, to be it's honest. It's definitely not. The first one is by far worse. What? I was just, Go for a walk. Why? I won't go for a walk. I know, but you'll be on for a walk. No, I won't. It's just me and Justin. That's right. We're almost done. Oh, we'll go We're almost done. Hi. Oh, whatever. 
she cheated on me probably, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I may get this one. This one's actually sold out. Actually, I tried. I, I got mine from Amazon Japan, and this one I did pre-order a third one because I'm an idiot. But uh, this one's sold out, so I'm gonna have to wait for this one to get it somewhere else. Interesting. But, um, Interesting. It, yeah, it looks okay. To be honest, this one does not look bad. I like I said the train mode was good. The bot mode is not not great, but it's not terrible. Yeah, makes sense or anything. Like that. I've certainly I've certainly seen worse things like the first one. So yeah, that's true. This yeah, one that's is not as bad. So that's pretty cool. So that's uh, that, and we got. Oh, we got statue news. We got Fla- oh, Flames Toys RC. Yeah, this is the um, oh, is this the Cure? No, the Fuhrer model. This is the uh, model kit one. We had to build the yep. Fuhrer model RC. So um, sixteen centimeters in height. What would that be? What six in- or six inches? Uh, probably six or seven, I'm maybe five. Math. That would be yeah, about six inches. Six inches. Okay. Um, good articulation. These are pretty cool. I built a couple of them. I built the um, the Seekers, and uh, they they had an IDW Optimus Prime, and I had a uh, Sean. Good. Uh, I think if, I don't know if he listens to the show anymore, but he used to be a good friend of the show. Uh, he does some really great paint jobs, and he painted those for me. Um, this does not look bad. Um, you know, for some reason they always got to put RC in a seduc- seduc- seductive mode. Well, yeah, it's not RC if she's not looking like um, that so. but i think she looks i mean the uh she looks teenager-ish kind of yeah got i can a, see that she definitely looks a bit on the younger side for his yeah RC maybe early 20s late womanly. late 18 19 or something maybe yeah um very posable i mean you can put her in some really great poses you know not sexual either she does you know you can actually put her in some good poses um these are pretty cool, and man, if they put some paint on this one, like a, some nice metallic paint, like pink. Oh, that look, that looks so good. Yeah. She got a weird weapon. Is that a gun or a sword gun or something? What is that? Oh, weird. Um, looks like yeah, a blade. It's, it's a weird fist blade. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is exactly. Oh, they got different head sculpts. Got the uh, one with goggles. That's pretty cool. Or not goggles, but sunglasses or something. Or a visor. I'm sorry, I think visor. This doesn't look bad at all. I mean, I don't want to get it because I, I'm not really. I don't like building model kits that well. Or I'm, you know, I'm not really a model kit builder. But do you build it? Do you have any of these? Do you ever build? No, I haven't built any one of them. I don't think any has ever just kind of, you know, stood out. Yeah, there hasn't been any that I'm like, oh, this is the one I need to have. But um, yeah. I wouldn't be opposed to doing it, like especially for like one character that I really like. I think that this RC, like generally, I think she does look really good. I do think she's again on the younger side there. Um, yeah. But like the rest of the bot looks pretty good. She looks like she'd be fun and articulated. Um, yeah, I could get some good pictures out of her. They're yeah. you know they're highly stylized, you know. So if you're not if you don't like the stylized thing, you're not gonna like these. But I think my big thing. Uh, I think my my big thing with this is is like I look at these, and I don't quite understand how I would, like, w- would the end result of mine built look this? Be look like that, like, <laughs> you know, like like I, feel uh, like. I think I think you I think they're they're really easy to. I mean, I, like I said, I don't build model kits, and I think it took me for the seekers. It took me like a two hours or yeah. take, give or take, and they looked. I mean, they I think they looked, you know, like the you know the pictures, and yeah. you know they. Okay articulate yeah, so a, that's what i always wonder because like a lot of times with like the gundam model kits and things like that is like yeah you get done them you're like eh, like it doesn't look as cool as it does on the on the pictures right <laughs> like because like yeah all like professionally painted and all this stuff and mine is most definitely not oh yeah know? i would think these are a little easier they're, I don't, they're they're kind of i don't i want to say foolproof maybe i don't I, you know they're really easy to build there's mostly snap on um you can glue that i think they say to glue things but you don't have to yeah um but um I think once you build it, they usually look the same like this. I mean, gotcha. I think they're good. So, um, but yeah, PVC, I guess. Okay. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I probably won't get that one. So, all right. Well, that is all we have for news, man. You guys want to say anything? Or, um, no. Shout out to Robert yeah. and Oscar for abandoning us. For abandoning. Yeah. Good job, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Well, yeah, this week was a kind of short show. Uh, thank you so much for listening. You know, the two or three people that do uh, eventually listen to us. 
We definitely appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna, you know, email you if we have any questions, or if you have any questions you want us to read off, uh, email your questions to hellunicroncast at gmail.com. And we got a special our official uh, YouTube page, which is uh, Matthew Deluxe Baldwin's. Uh, <laughs> he's the only one who's active. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to make it big, but it's not working, man. Nobody wants to watch my stuff, but it's all right. Do you think, do you uh, think uh, toy reviews are on the decline in general? I think there's too many toy reviewers. Yeah. I don't I, think it's on the decline. I think it's it's just everybody and their mom is reviewing stuff. Sure. I don't so think it, it's kind of hard to stand out. It's hard do you to think? Stand um, out. Yeah, absolutely. I could see. Do, that. You, do you think they're declining? That's a good. I mean, why do you think they're declining? I mean, if you think that. Um. What do you mean decline? What do you I mean like? I think so. The, like maybe maybe it's just that the people that I have that got me interested in in doing reviews back in the day are a lot yeah. less active than they used to. Like your PRs and stuff like that. Like. Like he mm. still posts, but not like he used to, you know. And like maybe it's just an overall excitement is not there, and it's like, yeah, maybe yeah. it's maybe it's the other thing that there's just too many people picking up a camera and doing it now, and nobody's yeah. getting the same attention. Like a lot of it, maybe even not even the the reviewer, but like the YouTube aspect of it, because like YouTube, oh yeah, YouTube is trash. They just just want to like fuck you over as the content creator right and it's like i don't yeah they're they're fun. i mean i don't know if they're promoting uh, my stuff i don't know you know if yeah. people are getting my stuff i don't know if people are you know they've unsubbed people before yeah and... I, like, I always spoke like you know in my in my prime you know when i was doing youtube reviews like i made 500 yeah. bucks in one month and it was amazing that's and awesome, then, like, dude. And then, like the next month, it like switched, and I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden, I was making two fifty. Then the following month, it was like yeah. one fifty, and then it's like now you're not even making enough money, and like, well, I'm not even gonna bother doing these anymore because like it's not fun, you know? Like, it's yeah, not fun, dude, it's not they just it. you know the super chats, and it used to be that yeah, you know, the creator, we you know the super chats or you know the thanks and everything, um, you used to get I think seventy thirty. Now they take half. Yeah. So it makes you know no sense. It's like, you know, and I was talking. I'm in a, a, a chat with some friends of mine, uh, you know, Patriot Prime and Cato and all them. Yeah. Um, and I, I would mention, I was like, you know what? It'd just be simple just to tell everybody just to PayPal me, you know, instead of you know, don't super chat me or anything because yeah. uh, I think Patriot Prime got a fifty dollar uh, thing for his birthday or somewhere. He got a fifty dollar uh, thing and it. They get, he only got twenty five. Yeah, they will take it. Like it's stupid. Right? That like makes no sense. Why? Why do you need to take half of, of that? that? Yeah. It's like uh, I wish there was another platform to be on. I know there are other platforms, but I mean right now YouTube is. I mean, usually it's the big one. You know, he's the you know the big dog. So yeah, it's bad. Like it is bad. It's sad that it's. Bad. <sighs> yeah, a lot of people. It's just and like I said. There's so many reviewers now. It's just like, you know, it's, it's trying to stand out, you know, and it's just, it's hard, you know. And I just, you know, some, you know, when I, when you also do a full time job, you, you know, you also yeah, have, you know, exactly. your wife and stuff, you got to do that. And I'm trying to put out a review every day. And it's just like, I've, I've actually done a new plat, I do a, uh, do a new format now. I'm just doing mainly most stuff, I'm just doing it with music. And then I'll say what I, at the end, I'll say what I think of it. And I'll do four time. Yeah, and like, you know, you want to you want to try doing all those things too, and then like whether that's received well or not, like it's just it's like yeah, like it's so disappointing. Well, it, it's defeating, and I, at least it gets you know, at least it gets mad at me all the time because I complain about it. But I, you know, with those, I just those train bots, you know, I spent four to five hours on yeah. those things and only get you know three to four hundred views on it. Yeah, it, it's kind of discouraging, it, it, you know. It, it just really it kills, it kills the mentality, you know. And yeah. Like, just like what was it? You know, why did I spend four hours doing a transformation and all this stuff and to, and to combine mode? Yeah. And only you know four hundred people. Not I, I have over like nine thousand subs and only four hundred people are gonna watch it. And then it's and like, then you're gonna get like the comments on the one thing you messed up or whatever. <laughs> you know, like yeah. that one person who's like like I'm fucking amazing transformer uh, super fan. Yeah, like, but where's your you? where's your review? Yeah. Where's your review at? I'm glad you've yeah. never made a mistake in your life. Uh, you know, get on, get over it. That's why. Yeah. That's why I started doing this new format. I think I'm going to start moving forward. I'm going to start doing. It. I'm just, you know, I'm going to show stuff. I'm going to show the alt mode. I'm going to show the transformation on most of the stuff, and I'm going to show the uh, bot mode. And then, 
I'm just going to, you know, tell you what I think about it and call it a day because yeah. they're just, uh, there's I, no I, point in me doing four hours. Too. Like if I did reviews again, like I feel like a lot of it, like, and, and I've, I've, I tried that too. Like I tried to do where I'm just like, this is the thing. Like, here's my like 10 minute video of what I think about this thing, what I like, what I didn't yeah. like. And like, boom, that's another, done. that's a, that's another thing. Why, you know, I was putting, you know, trying to put out 30 minute videos and my average view was like three minutes. Exactly. Exactly. So I'm like, like I'm not, I don't, I don't like want to bust speed, my ass. You know? like, why, yeah. Why, why I, like, I don't want to, I don't want to bust my ass for four or five hours and get, and put out a 30 minute video and only three minutes has been watched for average. Exactly. Like I mean, there are some people that watch it, you know, yeah. that's oh, fine. There is, and I, of and I love that. But the average is like three to, you know, two to three minutes. And I was like, I, I, it's, worth my time. It, it's, it's just defeating me. You know, it's like, it, it's just like, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make you feel good. It's like, you know, nobody wants to watch your shit. So I was like, all right, so I'm going to change it up. So I'm trying to still get, you know, I want to try to get around the 10 to, you know, or 12, you know, to 15 minutes and everything. So I've been trying to get the, around that at the time. Um, so, you know, because yeah. the attention span for nowadays, you know, it's just, you know, of a, everybody has a attention span of a gnat. So, you know. Yep. Anyways, I could grab about this all day long. Um, so shout out to uh, Dust Mites for providing the beats for our theme song. Thank you so much. I will be seeing those uh, guys in about two weeks. I'm going to BotCon in Nashville. So if you are there, uh, you see me, you see a short, fat, white guy with a beard, come up and say hi. And I you know, definitely would love to talk and chit-chat. And uh, everybody who follows us. The best from... people I know to, to meet up at a BotCon and chit-chat with. So. If you <laughs> well, see it, take advantage of it is all I'm saying. Who dust mites or me? You. I mean, dust mites is. Oh, okay. Well, I'm at, dust mites is too. You know. I like uh, Eddie, but. <laughs> but I'm 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 excited. I'm excited for a buck. I'm, I was hoping somebody would go, but nobody I know is going except for ROC. So it'll mm-hmm. <laughs> be alright. But uh, everyone, thank you uh, who follows from Shattercast. Uh, grateful to each and every one of you who joined the journey, and for uh, you know for me and T two R X six, we want to say thank you, and uh, we'll see you in another two weeks. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking Transformers. Yep. And good night, folks. Again, thank you, everyone. But yep. fuck, but fuck Robert and, and Oscar. So, Especially fuck but fuck them too. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> good night. <laughs> yeah. Have a good time, man. Or good night, weekend, whatever. <laughs>